All right. Well, this week we are taking a closer look at breakthroughs in cancer research. Some more complex ones, but others as simple as something that you might find in your medicine cabinet. And today we're focusing on the third most commonly diagnosed cancer and the second leading cause of cancer death in the country. And now researchers say a daily aspirin could actually improve survival rates for colon cancer patients. Fascinating development. And here to explain more is Dr. Johanna Bendel, director of the GI Cancer Research Program at the Sarah Cannon Research Institute. Great to have you with us on the program. I'm always interested in developments and research in cancer, especially ones that are available to everybody that's right in their medicine cabinet. Talk to us about this breakthrough as it relates to aspirin and vitamin D. We're so excited. I just came here from our big annual meeting and international conference where we saw two major studies for patients with colon cancer. The first one was a study from Norway that looked at 25,000 patients with colon cancer and that they found that patients who take daily aspirin for at least six months in a row had a decreased risk by 50% of dying from their colon Wait, cancer. Wait, say that again, 55-0%? 50, 50% decreased cow. risk of dying from their colon cancer. Okay, so in that regards, uh, aspirin. I've been taking a little baby an, uh, aspirin, 81 milligrams for a long time. Yes. But, the, you know, you, you go but to the, for heart. Yeah, for right. my heart. Uh, my heart doctor health. told me a long time ago that that could actually help you. And plus with uh, polyps and things like that yeah. was the technology back then. But what size aspirin do you take? Do you take the little 81 milligram or the big 300 and something milligram? So in this particular study, they didn't check what dose to use. Mm -hmm. But I think a lot of us doctors are recommending a baby aspirin to be good enough to, for the prevention. And not necessarily pink and tasty, but <laughs> instead 81 milligrams. 81 milligrams. Okay, okay, so now you also mentioned something with respect, and I see the sample size was quite large actually, right? 25,000 yes. uh, patients involved, but this is also not something that can be preventative, but it has shown to, I guess, inhibit tumor growth and polyps from forming in those that are already diagnosed with colorectal cancer. Correct. We know that inflammation in the body helps cancers mm -hmm. grow, helps people form cancers, and aspirin can actually decrease that inflammation, and that's how we think it works. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, talk to me about vitamin D. We hear a lot about this. People saying vitamin D is good for you. It has anti-carcinogenic properties. If you go outside, get some sunshine, but you say, let's talk about balancing the pros and cons with skin cancer exposure, right. but we can get a little bit of sunshine in the bottle. Absolutely, <laughs> you can. And so we can take vitamin D and the regular dose, as you see here on the bottle, a thousand international units a day. Mm -hmm. But the studies that we're looking at are even higher doses of vitamin D, 4,000 international units a day. In this study that we saw at, uh, that was presented, there were a thousand patients with advanced colon cancer. So colon cancer that had spread outside of the area of the colon. So that has metastasized so typically a stage three or a stage a stage four, yeah, four yeah, diagnosis. Stage four. And these patients all received chemotherapy and they found that patients who had higher levels of vitamin D in their blood had a much better chance of surviving, had a 35% improvement in their survival mm -hmm. over those who had lower. And when you talk about vitamin D, you're talking about vitamin D3. Yes. I, I would imagine, you know, people are watching this and they're going, you know what, we got to go to the store, we got to buy some aspirin, we got to buy some vitamin D3. Yeah, but they're inexpensive you, and they can help save your life. And this is good for women too, bone yeah. health as well and immune support. Should you talk to your doctor before taking it? Definitely talk to your do doctor before taking it. We also want to make sure that for aspirin, you can have an increased bleeding risk. So yeah. make sure your doctor knows what you're doing. Vitamin D is a little bit more easygoing in okay. terms of added, uh, added risks, but always let your doctor know what you're doing. There we go. Very helpful. Yep. Dr. Johanna Mandel, thank you so much thank for being you. here with us. And by the way, tomorrow.